Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Gungeon series. We are back again and as you can see we are playing as a brand new character called Modular. Uh, this is one made by Sunbunny. Let's take a look at the items that we start off with. But this character apparently doesn't get guns, can just use their starter, but they get a bunch of different passive abilities. So I'm pretty interested in that. Allows you to open up an interface letting you see and power, um, see and power your modules. Pressing reload on a full clip switches modes. The other, um, which allows for this scrapping of items and pickups into scrap, and scrap can be repurposed into upgrades. In a perfect world, this device would break down materials on construction sites and turn them into suitable materials for pr um, printing useful tools. But this is not a perfect world. Interesting. And then we've got the modular printer core. The heart of modular controls all hardware and software upgrades. Technology originally purposed for keeping track of various non-lethal equipment now used in machines of war. Um, okay, and it's got synergies as well, which is interesting. Okay, I'm guessing these synergies are all of the upgrades by the looks of it. Um, okay, we're, we're just going to give this a go. So we want to be pressing reload to um, basically take a look at this and get upgrades. I'm very interested in this character, but we do also have a lot of other things to do today as well. Um, I've promised many a thing to many a people. Uh, main thing is we're going to try and go to the Abbey here. If I need to spawn keys in and stuff to do that, I will, um, because there is stuff to see on the Abbey. Um, mainly a new boss and a secret boss from, um, from Bunny as well that I haven't seen yet. And also we're going to try and go to the RNG department because... Um, there's been a hell of a lot of effort put into a mod that adds um, Ammonomicon entries for some MISC enemies as well as the RNG department enemies that I have still yet to... I've had the mod installed for ages and I've still yet to actually sort of work with, but... Okay. Um... Interesting. I'm confused by this. Okay, so... Just one thing to note right off the bat, this interface doesn't work on controller. So, <laughs> that's one thing to point out first off. Uh, but so far, we don't have anything here. Uh, I'm going to have to use mouse and keyboard for that, but that's fine. Um, okay, we've, we've, we've got this little thing up here, look, where next to our money, that's like, I assume that's the scrap that we can create. <laughs> oh god, I'm going to I'm gonna have to make sure I don't do that, because I, I have to come back to my mouse to... This, to do that. Right. We've got this little gun here. And yeah, apparently we can't get other guns with this guy. This is this is just our gun now. Uh, it seems pretty good. I didn't actually read the um the Ammonomicon entry for the weapon. I should probably go and check that out. Given the right circumstances, this piece of equipment would have been able to assist in many different ways of construction and under the table deal weaponized it. Basic, simple, interesting. I am down to clown with this thing in a large way. It has a very slow reload, but it, it seems very good. It reminds me of the robot's left hand, or is it right hand? I can remember which one he starts with. A little bit slower fire rate, a little bit higher damage. Overall, good stuff, good stuff. The character looks really cool. Definitely, you can tell it's very Sunbunny style. Very Sunbunny style. Take care of you. But this, this weapon seems like it's gonna get pretty strong. So, yeah, we need to be using our... Okay, wait a minute. We, we forgot to do the reload uh, thing to change modes here. Let's reload on a full clip and see what happens. Oh, I see. Okay. So we can reload on a full clip to change over to this mode here. Hello there, big sir. Hello there. You are dead. You are done, sir. Good, got you. Ghosty boy. And you, I love the fact that you can push those into water even though they can dive right over them so easily. I still love that. Okay. So I'm guessing this um, this mode is for upgrading. This mode is for trashing things. So I want to keep the trashing mode right now. So I basically, I'm, I'm really going to be wanting to find ammo drops and stuff as much as I possibly can. Which means that having high curse is probably a good idea with this guy. Because I'm guessing a trash key is worth the same amount as a trashed ammo. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I would guess. Therefore, being high curse and getting more ammo would be really good, especially as a character that doesn't need ammo, because we just have an infinite ammo uh, weapon. <clears throat> but yeah, very intrigued by that, this guy thus far. Very intrigued indeed. But we do need to try and get a key if we can. I would still like to open chests though and see what we get. 
We only have armor as well, I'm just noticing that now. Makes sense for a guy that is metallic in nature. Oh, look at this guy. He's tiny and he's green. So far, though, this, this guy seems strong off the bat. I'm sure he'll get stronger as we go. My accuracy, however, is not strong. I'm missing a lot of my shots. Right. <clears throat> Shop here. So we've got this. This is a bit of scrap. Okay, so I guess we'll buy some scrap. Uh, we've got scrap now. And then if we do this and go like this. So... What can we do with the scrap then? Modules available, non page one, page two. I'm not exactly sure. We'll see when we end up getting a a passive item or a gun, I guess. It's going to take me a little while to figure out how this character works, I'm sure. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure that I'm going to miss some really key or crucial information about this character. Or completely miss, I did not mean to pick that up. Or completely misunderstand some stuff, I am sure. But if, that's, if that is the case, somebody will leave a comment going over that in the description in the uh, comment section anything that i've got wrong misinterpreted or just missed entirely he can go over and that'll help me for next time but it'll also help you guys to understand now i am going to open chests here regardless of me needing to go um so this has this little icon on it so this is the soul lantern so we take it and ah it splits okay so we've got our modules here i see so, let's have a little look see what we've got going on here. Deal 50% damage to more enemies uh, further away from you. Uses one... Uses one 0 0.5. I don't know what the 0 0.5 means. Energy. Taking damage grants you double damage and double fire rate. Uh, decrease over 15 seconds. Um, okay. Grants vastly improved um, and more common room drops. Loot chance and better drop rewards. Glass generator grants two glass quantum stones. Picking up any module gives two glass quantum stones. And projectiles start slow but accelerate to high speed. Projectiles now deal 20% um, of their speed as damage. Pretty interesting. I think I'm going to go for this one. So this becomes real. I take it. And then I use this. And I need to put an energy into that. Okay. And then this is like my tier one. Oh, wait, no, so I, I can have... I see, I see. So... It shows up... So this is, this is, I think this is all. This is tier 1, this is tier 2, and this is tier 3. Okay, I don't really know what the tiers are about, but I kind of understand that. But RNG manipulation seems pretty interesting. I like the idea behind that. <laughs> but yeah, so we get a... Did I... What the fuck? What? Excuse me? Wait, how do you spell armor? Give me that armor back, you stupid... <laughs> I teleported on top of that and it goddamn hurt me. No thank you. I'm having that armor right back. I'm having that armor right back. No thank you, game. So, so what the hell? Let me, let me, let me read through this again. What the hell does the scrap do? I'm, I'm confused on what the scrap does. Um, scrap can be repurposed into upgrades. Um, the scrapping of items and pickups. Scrap can be repurposed into upgrades. How though? I'm guessing it's, um, it's this module computer core, maybe. I, I, I don't know. Like I said, we'll figure it out as we go along. One second. Sorry about that. All right, let's continue on. But yeah, hopefully we'll see room drops drop in for us a lot. Ooh, we got a black chest here. Like I said, I'm going to go to the Oubliette. I'm just going to spawn the keys in. This is a showcase run. I don't mind. I wonder if black chests have a higher chance of giving us better stuff. Like S tier items, should I say. Okay, this is actually a passive item, of course. So this doesn't mean, this doesn't do anything different for us. Some temporal rounds. Some of some projectiles from the past to aid you in the present. Okay, this is really good. Cool, cool, cool. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll see if we get keys from this guy first. But then we'll just spawn them in if we need to. Got ourselves the Gatling Gull. So yeah, when we reload, there's a chance that some of our bullets will uh, repeat. Pretty useful.
Okay. Okay. Doing decent damage to him, nothing crazy yet. I mean, we didn't take anything that upgraded our bullets thus far, so we're not going to be dealing any extra damage yet. Seems that every single time we have to reload, we get more and more of these temporal shots. It's rather nice. I like the uh, effect on hit when you hit an enemy, like the, in, the bullet impact. It looks really like, I don't know, like sci-fi <laughs> and cool. Very fitting for the character. Very well sprited. So we've got some more scrap here. So this will turn into a few of these. We've got a bunch of um, level one. So we got secret rooms are revealed if you are near them. All secret rooms contain two extra pickups starting from the next floor. Reloading has a chance to launch a poison canister. Do not like that. 50% um, more damage to enemies further away from you and improves accuracy and increased shot speed. I'm going to go with the secret room one here just because we're going to the abbey eventually. I think that's going to be uh, very worthwhile. So we'll take that and then we will do this and we want to add an energy in there. So I'm... I'm unsure what it means by, like, adding extra energy into these things. I don't really know what that means. I don't really know what that means about, like, some of them saying they can... ...add, like, they could be upgraded. I'm not exactly sure how I upgrade them. I'm, I'm guessing, like I said, that's to do with the scrap, right? Let me just read that again. Uh, into upgrades, yeah. Okay. So, I don't know how much scrap I need to do that. I also don't know exactly how I do that. It's, it's going to be a learning process, as I said. I think it's to do with... I, I'm going to have to do some more reading here. I think it's to do with this. Um, pressing reload in a full clip switch is mode. The other, allow, um, which allows for the scrapping of items. Okay, I don't... I can see that how I scrap stuff. I don't know how I repurpose the scrap, though. Um, like I said, I guess we'll find out. Right, so we're going to give ourselves a key here. Give key... And then we're going to go to the Abbey. So we've got plenty to do. Plenty to do. But yeah, I need to remember to check my Ammonomicon whenever we come across a enemy that appears in the RNG department. Of which I think there's a few on some rooms in the uh, modded Oubliette rooms. Okay, good, good. I'm wondering how much scrap I need before I can do upgrades. I don't know. I don't rightly know. The scrap thing is the only thing that I'm a little lost on right now. Everything else makes sense to me. I just know, I don't really know how I actually spend my scrap, and I don't know how much it costs to do things. I'm not seeing anywhere that labels... Maybe I'm missing something in the menu. I should check the menu again. Um, yeah, maybe I'm just missing something in, in the menu for how to do that. So let's... Go like this again. Modules available. Module available. Module available. Plus loot chance, better loot drop odds. It, it says what our upgrades are, which I like. Um, I can't add any more energy into either of those. Okay, we'll just figure it out as we go. But the secret rooms, I like the idea of because, um, like I said, we're going to the Abbey. Also, plus two pickups per secret room allows for more scrapping, right? We can scrap more stuff. That's good. Um, honestly, these temporal bullets are fucking amazing. I know that they're not, like, hitting super accurately, but more bullets on screen is always going to be good. So far, the room drop chance hasn't really rewarded us yet, but... We've only been using it for a short while. So, th for example, this enemy here, I believe, didn't normally have a um, an Ammonomicon entry. So we should check the Ammonomicon after we finish this room. Hey, we got an extra room drop there. So if we go Ammonomicon, we go down to... Yeah, and... That's pretty cool. We've got the bootleg guys here. I don't know if they'll be right at the very bottom or not. Okay, I think I've already I think I've already seen a few of these look. 
So I, I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure which ones are added by the mod. So uh, uh, my apologies if some of this is incorrect, but I think it's these ones here. I think it's all of these ones here are added by the mod. Like I said, it's not, it's not super easy for me to tell right now just because I'm an idiot. Um, but we can take a little look. It's just some of the amazing art and descriptions that went into some of these. In fact, let me let me do let me do a little check one sec. Okay, I was correct. It is all the RNG department ones, as well as the new mod, which is the Misc version, which adds in all the mimics and stuff as well. So like the mimic here, um, this like all all the other like versions of mimics have new Amanomicon entries and stuff. Really, really cool. Uh, as well as yes, yeah, some Misc enemies and some cut enemies. Um, We'll have to, like, see them first, like, after installing the mod for them to appear in here. But we can at least go through the RNG department ones that we've already seen. All of these, all of the art in these, by the way, is custom done. Um, and the descriptions are custom as well. So we've got the High Noon Shootdown. Um, these bullet kin of the West come in many shapes and sizes. Though some may uh, be found driving cattle and other digging for gold, all of them are like um, in that which matters most. Each is eager for a scenic gunfight when Condemnity's son is at its peak. We've got the veteran Shotgun Kin as well. Shotgun Kin proudly wears the traditional garb of his land and maintains a moustache that is the envy of all Bullet Kin, except for the mindlets themselves. Um, that matter, matters little to them, however, as their purpose is never to impress. We've got the snake here as well. Ooh, I like the snake sprite there. Perhaps one of the least remarkable denizens of the Gungeon, the snakes have um, nevertheless learnt to channel their inherent gunning potential to shoot a spread of bullets from their mouth. Though considered a pest by some, they are an important part of the Gungeon's ecosystem, commonly found hiding inside boots. <laughs> I love that. We've got the pirate again. Some of the, the sprite work on these is fucking amazing. Oh, the musket! He's so cute! These hardened pirates and privateers have truly taken their role to heart, eagerly wearing anything that might enhance their swashbuckling appearance. They have yet to realise that blocking both their eyes with eye patches is usually not a wise choice in a gunfight. <laughs> a high-ranking member... Um, I, I need to be reading the little uh, thingy text as well, text underneath the image, on which the gun never sets. High-ranking member of the... Um, Admiralty? Uh, ad um, Admiralty? tasked with putting um, a stop to independent privateers, although many of them would disappear in a fateful event that has long been shrouded in mystery. That is to do with the um, the beast belly of the beast floor, I believe. The relation between the musket ball and the cannon ball rag have for long been a subject of debate between the Gungeonia scholars. Many believe the musket balls to the, um, be the spawn of the cannon ball rag, while some say they're closely related species. Some madmen even argue the cannon ball rag is an unholy union between a musket ball and a scuzzit. Ha <laughs> ha, that's great. Oh, the parrot is just so chonky. Bird of weathered. Of a weather? Uh, by the way, I'm dyslexic as hell, so reading is not my forte. Um, no one is certain whether the parrot was a native speech of Condemnity or if it was introduced to the planet at some point in its history. Regardless of its origins, the parrots thrive in the chamber and have largely learned to mimic the Gigi's behaviour, a favoured companion of a uh, pirate bullockkin. The business one. Oh, look at him, he's got his little coffee. These bullet kin have found themselves in what might be one of the least remarkable positions in the gun dead society. Um, toiling away for hours upon hours in their little tiny cubicles, they spend their days daydreaming of the moment where when a Gunji have finally reached their department, so that in a blaze of glory and destruction they can finally be given the experience that a gun dead desires most. The fishkin out of water. These slippery bullockkin have adapted to life underwater, yet retain the ability to survive on land. Preferring uh, moist and fetid environments, they um, their eggs are considered a delicacy by older Gungeoneers, like caviar. The bro bro brullet? Brullet? These fanatic bullockkin have sworn to a life, um, to a life and, to live and die, sorry, in Calibur's honour, albeit a few seriously, um, seriously considered the latter part. Loaded with explosives to be able to kill even in death, other bullockkin are advised to tread lightly around them, avoid surprising them, and overall mind their explosive temper. Love it. And we got this guy as well. Um, the K bullet. Um, de how do you pronounce that? Divested from their soul and minds, these gun uh, holy abomination shambles through the um, most exotic of chambers, as through bathing in the memory of what they have um, long, la long lost. 
For you dare to wager a guess as to what animates them and maintains their anti-natural existence, yet amidst their inhuman growls some claim to have heard naught but a very utterance of her terrible name. And we've got the Nightkin as well. These noble gun dead have sworn um, featly to uh, knightly code of conduct and remain true to their honour and even even under the mockery of more modern bullockkin. Some still wander through the gungeon in search of the mythical castle of the Guns... Gunslav... I don't know what, how to pronounce that. Gunslavshire? From which uh, the Holy Grail is said to have originated. Nice. Holy Grail reference in there as well. Um, th these guys as well. Um, some of these little dudes I've, I've, I'm, I'm kind of interested to. But yeah, anyways, we'll go over these more as we as we sort of discover them. But I just wanted to highlight that mod. because it's, so it, it's one of those mods that is like completely unnecessary like it wasn't needed but it just adds more life to the game it just adds more personality to the game and for people that like lore and for people that like looking through the Amanomicon tree personally I'm not the sort of person that would that would typically read through the Amanomicon in fact I don't think I've ever read through the actual like official Amanomicon entries myself this was some this was a bad room for me um but Pe a lot of people do really like that sort of stuff, and having a mod like that, it's it's great. It's really great. So it's revealed our secret room to us here. Good. We can come in here. So let's let's take a little look. See if we reload. Can we scrap either of these? No. I'm unsure how the whole scrapping mechanic works. I would have thought I'd been able to scrap those. I'm confused. The whole scrap mechanic is really throwing me for a loop here. So I think these are another new enemy. Took some cast there on purpose. So if I go into my Ammonomicon again, I think that enemy should be added now, right? Yes, there you go. The Calabullet, an unearthly creature of unknown origin and purpose that is still less familiar. These beings have long terrified the less experienced Gungeoneers. Their strange eye remains a thing of nightmares in the minds of even the most adept, standing um, as, though a rem as though a reminder of an even greater horror somewhere down below from the depths. Again, look at that sprite work. Holy shit. It's so official looking. Like, goddamn, it's so official looking. Do not like the idea of these guys standing right next to my chest. You little fucker. You little bitch. You blew up my chest. I don't know if that was a fused chest or what happened there exactly. But if I missed out on a gun, I swear to God I'm going to throw the hell down. Okay. I hate this. I hate this. Who the fuck designed this piece of shit room? The fuck is this? Why does this exist? <laughs> you devil. You devil. What the hell is this? I've, okay, I'm, I'm probably going to give myself some health back if I if I get close to death here. Uh, this is a showcase episode. I don't want to be dying because I'm a noob scrub and haven't played Gungeon in like a week. It doesn't help that we haven't taken anything yet that increases our actual damage. We've only taken utility so far, so... That's definitely been a bit of a downside for us. I'm definitely noticing that our weapon is not so strong right now. Also, the reload is so goddamn long. <laughs> definitely struggling with that a little bit. Oh, you fuckers! Yeah, let's give ourselves some armor back. There you go. I'm not- I, I don't want to die on this run just because I'm playing bad. It's a cool showcase run. We're gonna cheat. <laughs> hey, we got a gun. Good. Okay, so we got- while enabled, taking damage permanently increases. That's pretty good. Um, increased damage by 33% sounds really good. We got um, increased rate of fire and reduced reload time. 
Um, but disables your weapon's recoil dampener. Hitting enemy deals 33% um, of the damage dealt. Hitting enemies deals 33% of the damage dealt to enemies near the hurt enemy. Okay, so... Sharper rounds sounds really good, but also so does the disabled dampener. I'm going to take the disabled dampener, I think. We'll take that and then we go like this. And we want to put an energy into that. Still have little to no idea how I upgrade these things. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. I don't know what the disabled recoil thing means. Oh, uh, okay. It just means that we get knocked back by our own shots. Which is annoying. Kind of awful, actually, but I can deal with it. I needed the reload speed and the fire rate's also really nice because this thing did have kind of slow fire rate. Oh god, I'm not liking this room right now. Got a raccoon here. I, I would have thought that junk could be able to be turned into scrap, right? So armor here, can this be turned into scrap? It can. Okay, so we turn that into scrap. Right, I have three scrap, I have four scrap now, okay. So at four scrap, am I able to do anything now? Upgrade. No. Upgrade. I'm really confused. How do I upgrade things? How much scrap does it cost and where do I do it? Technology originally purposed. It's not this. Letting you see your power modules. One second. Okay, we are back. I have consulted Bunny. I understand now. I was very much misunderstanding a few things. Okay, so let me just go over it. First of all, upgrading does not refer to this orange text. I, I was under the impression that you scrap to upgrade these items. The, the orange text actually just means what happens if you get two of the same module. So, you, like, the item stacks on top of each other, for example, because obviously you're going to get the same option more than once. So that makes sense. And also, the actual scrap is used for upgrading this here, your amount of energy. And the main reason I didn't know that is because, look, if I do this, nothing happens. If I go like this, or if I go like this, then it pops up. But if I mouse over it for the majority, like most of the most of the actual bar, nothing happens. And it's just like, for some reason, it just this top little bit right here is the only bit that actually registers. So I just missed that. Uh, that might be something to just look into tweaking or fixing. But either way, uh, I understand a little bit more now. Um, so we're going to... Carry on ahead, push forward, and we need eight scrap to upgrade to our next level of energy. So at the minute, scrap isn't all that important for us, really. Uh, so we can, we can leave that scrap there. Actually, it's, it's, it's only 18. We'll buy it. Um, although it would have been nice to buy a charge shot, but it's fine. Uh, but yeah, so realistically, we want to be getting more of the same modules if you want to upgrade them a lot. Um, that's a, a pretty good way forward. I don't know how many modules that actually are available to us. Um, I'm sure there's quite a few. We've already seen a lot of unique ones. Um, I would hope it's a good amount and... As well, it, it seems like it's set up in a way where it's actually pretty simple to add new ones, so the character could be even further expanded upon in the future. So that's always good to know. Um, keeps the character fresh and stuff. You could bring out little, like, essentially DLC packs for new modules to build onto the character. But I'm sure even now there's 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 tons of what uh, tons to go at. Right, we do need to get in there. I'm gonna have to spend a key on this, which I fucking hate. I still think to this day that shouldn't ever be locked. The, f the fact that it should either always be locked or never be locked. We got the fun Ganon guy. No idea how I'll do against this guy because I haven't fought him in quite some time. I don't like how close he's getting to me, I'll be honest. Also, the knockback that we're experiencing right now from this uh, recoil dampening thingy-mabob is very scary. Um, I... Don't know how I'm going to deal with that. <laughs> Probably poorly. We're doing good damage, though. We're doing good damage.
Yeah, I think I need to be a little closer to him. I think I, I was limiting my range there. Oh, what the fuck? That's a fast boy. I, I haven't fought this guy, like, really in mu like much at all. Probably only, like, four or five times. So I'm really unfamiliar with his attack patterns for the most part. That attack, I am very, very unfamiliar with, as you can clearly tell, because I could not get out of the way of that in time. Another gun here, good to see. Uh, bubble Blast. Decreases accuracy slightly and increases rate of fire. Projectiles will slowly, um, will slow to a crawl after a moment, reloading boosts all projectiles greatly and increases their damage. I like the idea of that. Increases damage by 15% and bullet speed by 30. Uh, adds one shot to your clip. One shot? That's really, really not great. Um, additional 50% more damage to enemies for each buff or debuff they have. And while active, reduces all prices, um, but taking damage breaks the module. Um, interesting. Let's, um, let's go with the Bubble Blast one. And then we go into our thing here, and we go and enable that. So this one costs two energy, so we are actually needing the scrap more and more here, but we're, um, we're at six scrap, I think, now, so we, we, we don't need much more. Good, 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 right. Down to the next floor after we grab this. Don't forget the armor. If I lose it, I'll give myself it back. This is a showcase episode. I'm not dying on this episode. Do not worry. This is a showcase episode. Right, down we go. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I am liking how this is going. I am liking how this is going very much so. Next floor. Okay, let's try and make it to the room. And yeah, we can try and scrap as much things as we can. I'm hoping with the extra room drops. Ooh, okay. I didn't expect it to be such a, a harsh amount of slowing, but the fact that we can reload to speed it up is pretty nice. And it has increased our fire rate a lot. And that does increase our damage too. I like this. This is pretty good. It, luckily, it doesn't seem to affect our temporal shots either, which is nice. Because if it did, that would be kind of messy, because then it need to be... I need to reload to spawn, then they reload again to shoot them off in a direction. Ooh, this guy is... this guy is tricky. Oh, this knockback is gross. <laughs> it's really, really hard to manage. Good thing is, if I stand, like, within the, the range of the enemy, I don't need to use the, the bubbling effects. I can just gain the extra fire. Hey, here we go. Um, we found ourselves our secret room here. Kind of scared me. So this here I can... This here I can turn to scrap. Yes, good, good, good. I was a bit confused then. and gave me two scrap. So now I can open up this, and I can go like this. And we get a bunch more energy. Good, good, good. We're up to seven. Power cell, power up. Good, good, good. Check out what's going on in here. We'll take the armor. Um, really? I, I think you should be able to scrap glass one stones, really, but oh well. It is what it is. Get some more scrap for ammo. We'll crack this bad boy open and again get a gun. Awesome. Um, entering combat cloaks the player for six seconds. Forcefully uncloaks. Uncloaking grants four times damage multiplier that degrades fast. 30% movement speed buff while cloaked. Um, Im improves bullets by plus one. Is that just plus one bullets? 50 casings, one key, two blanks on pickup. 10% chance of dropping additional casing when they die. Missed shots are refunded back into your clip, gaining 10% um, boost to damage when you miss up to 15 times. Up to 15 misses. Landing a hit will um, use all-star damage. That uses two as well. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. And then we'll uh, go over to this. Nope, we'll go over to this. And we shall activate once again. Boom. So all out of energy at the minute. 
but we've got some interesting stuff going on. Basically, my thinking here is my temporal shots might count as misses if they hit walls, in which case we'll get a lot of bonus damage, which would be quite nice. I don't know if that's the case, but that's my theory. Also, it's just extra damage, which is nice. Yeah, it does, it does seem to count. It does seem to count. So we got a good item here that, that we benefit from quite a lot, actually. I'm definitely going to end up dying to me having this knockback. I know it. It's definitely going to be an issue for us, but we will try our best. Alas, we will try our best. Got some scrap out of that guy. Lovely. Do not like the uh, the looks of this room right now. See, look, a bunch of shots just missed there. Nice. Okay. Grab some more scrap. Open this up. Uh, get a passive item by the looks of it. Don't know what that is at all. Oh, it's an active item. Okay. Um, can open doors and solve puzzles. This book contains a solution to every problem. Hit it with a book. Can open doors and solve puzzles. Don't really know what that means. I'm guessing it means I can open up key doors for free, I would assume. Um, so we'll buy more scrap here. We'll buy the key as well once, once we can afford it. Ah, this is the wrong goddamn room. How dare you. Oh, I do not like this room for us. Okay, good. The tables were there on purpose. They were there for a reason. Let's take that guy up. Oh, you fucking... Oh, you telefragging little fucker. How dare you. How dare you. There's nothing more annoying in a game than an enemy spawning underneath you. And I'm sure never named will leave a comment. Yeah, it was easy to avoid, but shush. Shush you. Um, I, there's no point in me giving, the, giving myself the armor yet. I can't remember what that armor's called. God damn it. Is it the crest? This seems really good. We're getting a lot of extra damage out of this now. Good, 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 good. Oh, ho, ho, beautiful scatter shot. Hell yes. Right. So we want to go give. If only I could goddamn hit my keys. What the hell? Get, give. Breast. I don't remember what it's called. Give old crest. Cool. We did it. We did it. Right, scatter shot. I fucking love. Oh, I missed some scrap here as well. What scrap are we on now? We're on six. Oh no. Oh no. I just ruined the run. Have you seen? Have you seen the knockback? Okay. Hold up a minute, hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. I can't I can't use this while in combat. I'm I'm gonna have to spawn some health in during this fight, I think. Because this is this is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. It's three times the knockback. The thing is though, it's three times the amount of misses, so the damage is gonna stack quickly. Sometimes my bubble blower thing isn't working. Oh, this is awful. This is absolutely awful. Luckily, I can disable the module, which is nice, but... Don't do your sleepy nighttime mode, please. I'm not down for this. Okay, we got him. Right, we're definitely disabling that module, because goddamn is that terrible. Right, um, we get ourselves an extra key here, some extra scrap. Okay, so then we go like this. We want to, um, 
It's sad to have to remove this, but we, we literally can't use that. It's it's awful for us right now. And this costs nine this time. Okay, so it goes up by one scrap each time. Another thing here. Um, let's have a look, look see here. Beating proximity of a projectile and um, of a, and enemy increases risk, which increases both uh, rate of fire and damage. Building up enough risk allows you to negate one instance of damage, providing you with 2.5 seconds of vulnerability. It sounds pretty damn good. Um, adds one piercing but reduces projectile speed. Sounds pretty good. Entering combat cloaks the player and reduces projectile speed. Projectiles will now fire a short range damage beam that will. Hmm. Let's take this one because it's a it's a tier three, and then we we gotta go and get another scrap before we can use it. Oh my god, my run! It feels so much better now. So much better. What the fuck's going on with this laser? Can I kill this thing? I can, okay. But yeah, so much additional misses. I think I will be giving myself some more armor at some point here. Can these fully circles go away so I can hit this guy? God damn it. Nice. Yeah, I'm loving how much I'm missing right now with temporal shots plus scatter shots. This is kind of lovely. Right. Right, 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 right. So, how does buying ammo work? I'm going to buy a key anyways, because I'd rather have the key right now. But I don't know how buying ammo would work. Okay, let's get in there. Luckily, leaving shots on the battlefield here is actually going to be pretty useful for us. He's managed to eat that. I did not like that at all. Our damage isn't amazing, unfortunately, but we can we can work through that, don't worry. He got another ET ET? Why? Why do you have to do that? Right, there you go. We got through it. Please give us another scrap here. Okay, we got the other scrap. So we can take that and then we can go like this. And then we can go like... Ah, pages one of two, I see. Okay, so then we can take this machine uh, instinct one here. Oh, wait, no, we need to do this first. Now we can take the machine instinct one. Awesome. Uh, and then here we can have a look-see. While enabled, taking damage permanently increases. Uh, nah. Deal an additional 50% dam more damage for each buff or debuff. Nah. Entering combat cloaked. I'm fine with that. Hitting an enemy grants a 10% damage boost up to 10%. Up to 10% damage boost up to 10 consecutive hits. Okay. That's pretty good for bosses. I will take that. But I doubt I'll use it yet. Okay. Come down here. Do not like that little path there. It's horrible. Let me just quickly check my menu and see what we got going on here. So, RNG manipulation and radar, radar scanner. We don't really need on most floors. So, I guess with these two, I could disable them. I'm going to do the next floor and then I think I'll disable one of them. Actually, let's just disable RNG right now and go to our next page and enable the marksman. Marksman's only one, actually. Oh, no, it is two. Okay. 
The maximum again was consecutive hits. Nice. Which is really, really good with, um, with Scattershot. Although the missing resetting the bonus is, I don't know how that's going to work for us. We'll just have to see. Anyways, let's go down to the next floor. I'm a little bit worried about my current HP, but hey, her. Hey, her. That's how it go. And yeah, we've got we've got some new stuff to see on this floor. We've got some new stuff to see. Apparently there's a secret boss, which is why I wanted the uh, secret room thing, because I'm imagining it's in a secret room. Um, we might want to buy some blanks at some point, actually. Um, and then we also have another potential mini boss, which I don't know is a guarantee to show up, but there's another mini boss on this floor. And I just, I just haven't been here in a long while, so it's cool to come here. But yeah, we've got a lot of buffs going on right now. I like that. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a that's a damage bonus and a half. That is, I like it. So I, th I think we've actually augmented our damage in a nice a nice amount of ways here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we have. I think we have. So make sure we don't use our blanks. We don't need those for secret rooms. There's a lot of sounds happening at the moment. my guy. Please stop. I just said I need to save my blanks. Oh my god. Again, I'm just going to have to give myself them back, aren't I? It's a run of cheating. Don't worry about it. It is what it is. Oh my fuck. It's... I forget how hard this floor is sometimes, you know. Oh my god. They went around the corner. Hot oh, damn, we have some damage. I think this is our mini boss here. Yes, it is. Oh, fuck! He hit me literally instantly. He teleported. What is going on with my character being on, like, green fire right now? Is that my is that my um, my risk thing, if I'm near an enemy shot? Oh, my fuck! This guy is tough. I mean, I expect him to be tough, I'll be honest, but... I'm trying to stand as close to him as I possibly can. So I can hit all my shots and get the consecutive damage bonus. Oh shit, okay. That little that little lightning is it saving me from damage, I think. Right. Um line of fire. Um the trail will initially hurt enemies direct to, directly when created. Nah. Increase rate of fire, nah, we definitely don't want that. Increases rate of fire again, nah. Divides clip size and reload time by two. Slightly increases rate of fire. I guess I'll take that. I'm not going to use it right now, though, unless do I have space for it right now? I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god. But yeah, I think, so I think red fire is when I've got my bonus, green fire is when I've got my invincibility. Once I've got the green fire like this, my next hit will be negated. I don't know how long this lasts for, if it's infinite or if it fades away over time, or if it just lasts for the room, but we'll see. We don't have any blanks available to purchase here. I'm not going to buy a key yet, so it does fade over time, okay. There you go, and green fire again. So this is actually a really fucking good item, this. I imagine it's really good in bosses as well. Green fire again. It seems pretty easy to trigger. I'm just going to test this. Yeah, okay, so green fire is definitely the negating damage. Because a lightning strike pushes enemies away and negates damage. I'm just trying to like play at risky and stay near shots to get my damage burner, my fire rate. Is it fire rate and damage it gives me? It's something like that. I like the way that in rooms I'm not even in, I'm getting this passive bonus. That's an extra scrap, nice. Oh my god, the noises. <laughs> uh, beautiful.
Get in the pit, you fucker. Ha ha. We are quite strong now. We are quite strong now. I can play it really close to the wire here because I know that I've got a free hit coming in. I like that a lot. We get ourselves the broccoli armor. Which is just uh, movement speed increase, right? Good for nimble movement, but makes it much harder for grenadiers to keep their footing. Don't really know what that means. I don't know what keeping their footing means. I forget what this is. Have I seen this before? I'll come back to you when I have more of a brain. Oh, I actually got hit there. My bad. They did open my secret room for me, though, which is nice, because that's two extra blanks. And whatever the fuck this thing is, the golden key. Um, a shiny golden key found the walls of the abbey. Um, there are directions written on it. First to the layer, bottom's right, then great hall. Still don't really know what this whole quest thing's about. I don't even know if it's, like, something that's been finished. Why is it so dark in here? Lol, what's, what's, what's with the spookies? Hey? You alright? What the fuck? Is this guy gonna chase me for the whole run now? No. <laughs> no thanks. Not the run for that. Not the run to get involved with that at all. It seems that rolling through bullets doesn't increase my, my risk, which is probably quite balanced. So we got this over here. Oatmeal. Gimme gimme. Really? The, the amount of things you can give and you give me a single piece of armor? You piece. Another gun here. Larger clips. I like the idea of larger clips. Um, Reload has a chance to launch poison cancer. Nah. I think we'll take the larger clips one. Um, and we'll go... Have a look in here. I'm going to take off the radar one now that I know what that what's going on with that. I'm going to take... Uh, I've got this here. Um, take larger clips. Let's do larger clips. Right, go back in here. Do a blank in here to get some keys. Oh, hello. You there. I've seen um, the double about the Gungeon. It's pitiful. Worry not, pitiful one, for I, Sir Flips a lot, will teach you the ways of the table. Teach me the ways of the table, a wooden one. Flip three tables. Boom, boom, boom. You did it. You actually did it. I thought this quest would surely end you. Congratulations. I will teach thee a secret technique from the Knights of the Octagonal Table. Table tech life. Okay. Fucking love that, dude. That's awesome. Right, what the fuck's this about? Grant one sign of mastery. Uh-huh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Gunslinger, patience. Unbreakable spirit, I'll take that. Anything else good? I assume this is the secret boss that I was told about. Defiler. Was I meant to do that? I feel like I fucked up real bad here, haven't I? Like, this is a lot of bullets! Okay, quickly before I take another hit, I need to give myself a lot more armor to make sure I can survive this, because I don't want this run to end. Do I just leave, or do I kill this guy? 
What's going on here? It doesn't look like I can kill this guy. Is this the boss that, that I was told about? The secret boss? I really have no idea. Oh, he's firing a scythe at me. That's pretty fucking cool. I have- I, I can't get close enough to him to actually tell if I'm dealing damage. Okay, I killed him. I am dealing damage. Again? Another one. Probably ill-advised, but I've committed now. Ah, oh, you bastard shithead. The scythe is back. Luckily you can just kind of run it into a wall. I'm just curious to see if killing all of these defilers does anything. Again, probably not the right run to find out, but... As I said, I've committed now. He's not dying, though. He's really goddamn healthy. Gold casing. We go again. Let this merge into the wall real quick. Dude, the skulls just keep firing. I think because I've got scatter shot, it's making it like I'm just hitting the skulls way more often as well, which isn't helping. Another one dead. We get a gold casing for each one we kill. Oh, you bastard again. And again. Bastardo. I'm very confused. That's another one dead. Okay. They are all dead. Explosive birth. I'm so very confused. <laughs> I think this was what, what I was supposed to see. Unless there's some sort of other secret room that I don't know about. Anyways, give myself two more armor. I've realized I'm a cheaty boy. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't need a key. We will buy some scrap though with the money we just got. Right, let's fight the boss. Let's fight the boss. It's been so long since I fought this guy. We should be able to build up our risk meter real quick against this dude. I want to stand close to him, but at the same time I know that's a bad idea, yeah. At least we don't have to worry about jammed bullets. They're all jammed, baby. I love the old king as a boss. He's a really, really well-designed boss. Basically just like a unique but harder version of an existing boss. Ram this into the wall. Blank that real quick. Hey, we got him. We got him. We got whatever this thing is. We can scrap this. Get that. It's a fucking mimic. Wait, 
which I think if we do die, holy shit, Mimic, fucking die. I do not want to accidentally break that chest because you're being a shithead. We got Derpy Bullets, increases damage by 40%, triples range, all bullets will turn sharply to the left or right. Seems fun. We got one on the wall that we can't get. Damage increase. What? It says shooting is 15% better. Does that mean 20 uh, 15% better fire rate? Um, tethered with electricity is absolutely amazing. Okay. we got scrap now. Let's use this. How come we're only at seven energy now? Weren't we at nine before? Excuse me? Um, so how much energy we got going on here? We're using... So bullet blaster... Refund component. Marksman. Wait, why is this disabled now? Did I lose energy? Why is this disabled now? I, I swear it was at uh, either 8 or 9 on my energy. I, I thought I was at 9. Why am I now at 7? And this has been disabled. And I don't know why. Right, back to the source. One sec. Right, I've proposed the question. We'll see when he gets back to me. But in the meantime, let's go through our Ammon Omicron entry. By the way, I put my fan on in the background, so I hope that it's not too distracting. But if you come over here, we should have a mi uh, pedestal mimic in here now, which we didn't have before. There you go. Ooh, look at that art. Wow. Um, a more recent offshoot of the mimic clad. The pedestal mimic is an opportunistic predator that disguises itself as a reward pedestal. They prey on battered and exhausted Gungeoneers that emerge victorious after trying to fight, striking when their exhaustion causes them to miss the Mimic's signature eyes. Very cool. Okay, we are good to leave this floor now. Um, do we want to do we want to switch anything over in the meantime? So right, we're using Bubble Blast here, um, which is using two energy. Wait, no, what? Oh no, it does use two, okay. Um, that's using two as well. I like that a lot. Uh, we've got Machine Instinct is turned off right now for some reason. Marksman. I think I'd rather have the, the Machine Instinct on than the Marksman. I still don't know how I managed to lose max energy. That doesn't seem like something that should be possible. But anyways, let's go to the next floor. And continue on, shall we? We're going to try and go to the RNG department here. I'm probably not going to do the bullet hell just because this is already a very long run. Um, but I will try and take a look at this guy's past because I think this guy has a past. I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I think. So I'll try and remember to do that to the best of my abilities. Apologies if I do not remember. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully Bunny gets back to me on that because I'm a little confused. I had 9 energy and it's like disabled all my modules. I'm just trying to think of what, what I did. Was it was it maybe giving myself HP, potentially? Like in the through the console commands? Did that potentially mess things up? Oh, that was that was evil. Oh my fucking what the What the What the bullshit is this? How did I not take damage there? Yeah, I want my instinct thing back on while I have low HP, even though I am cheating in this run for hit, uh, for just, like, making sure I actually see the end of the run. Oh, God, how are we only on the third floor? Fourth floor, sorry. No, third floor. God damn, the Abbey and stuff is a long, long-ass journey. That's the problem with the, with the Abbey. I think it should replace this floor. Like, it, you shouldn't get this floor and the Abbey. It should be the, the Abbey or this floor, because otherwise runs are just too long. I wonder if anyone could do that as a mod. I'd, I'd, I'd definitely be up for that, because I'd go to the Abbey more often if it, um... For one, if it didn't have such a sort of difficult prerequisite of, like, not getting hit and getting the crest there. But also, yeah, the fact that it just makes runs, like, overly long.
Got him. Explosive bath, I forgot about that. Bug boots, poison immunity is kind of nice. I'm happy with that. I'm liking these squiggly bullets with the extra damage. It's crazy, but it's fun. Especially with the bubble bullets so they hang around. There's some more scrap. We need 10 scrap at the minute, which also seems kind of rude because it, it took away max energy, but it still takes, it still costs me the increased cost to uh, upgrade again. Shouldn't, shouldn't it be based, the, the cost of an upgrade, uh, how much scrap it costs you be based on how much total energy it would end up giving you? I've been utterly scammed. Well and truly bamboozled. We got while active reduces all prices. Um, one shot to your clip. It doesn't more damage to enemies further away from you. Vastly more common. Uh, rune drops and glass gone stones. I don't really care which one of these I take. So I'm just going to take that one. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use any of those. Hello. Ah, oh, I can't even use the shrine. Damn it, that's such a good shrine as well. Hey, I got saved there. Only just. The invincibility it gave me after also saved me. I got saved on both fronts there. Right. Keep this bad boy going. I love this for craziness of all the bullets with scatter shot and everything. It's just madness. You have to get stuck behind them, a ladder. More armor, thank you. I should be turning that into scrap, really, but I kind of need the armor right now. There's some scrap there for some reason. Don't know where it came from, but I'll take it. I will most certainly take it on board. Yeah, someone will have to take a look in the video and see whereabouts I lost my energy. Because I, I, I didn't actually notice when it was. I think it was during or after, or like just before the... Um, the fight with uh, the old king or whatever his name is. I have so much money right now, it's crazy. God damn, do I not like the look of this room. Shop Lead Heart. I don't know what that does. I'll definitely take the, uh, the scrap here. I want to see what buying ammo does. It just says full. Can I, um... Nah, I can't even use that on it, damn it. Buy the key. Buy whatever this lead heart is. That gave me a lot of armor. Empty hearts will turn to shields upon taking damage. Nice. Okay. And then now we can go like this and... We can add more energy. And now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to reduce the clip one. Uh, larger clips. And we're going to go with... Where's the electricity one? Is that on page three? Lightning nets. Yes. Good, 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 good. Okay. Oh, yes. That's lovely. That is something to behold right there. Ready to go.
<laughs> oh, yes. This seems like it could get quite laggy, quite fast. Visually impairing as well. It's fun though, I don't care. I'm staying right up in his face because I've got invincibility for a hot, hot second. From the risk, and there you go, baby. Extra key there. Ammo, of course, we will recycle. Can I recycle... It's a shame you can't recycle weapons, because I don't... I don't always want, um... Thing. Maybe I can, I can recycle the components, potentially? If I take... Acts as two copies of a random active module. Kind of interesting. Um, lightning nets plus... Plus tether and range. Okay, um, let's take that. Can I recycle these? No, I can't. Okay, but I'll take that though. Um, and we'll continue on. Okay, we are good to go. Right, RNG department we want to be going to here. Uh, I do have a master round. Good, good, good. And I do have enough junk to pass over to the uh, the man to get into the RNG department. But yeah, with this being such a long run going to RNG department and stuff, I'm definitely not going to do bullet hell. I am going to try and do the past if I can. If I can. I don't know if there's any prerequisite to that. We'll find out. I mean, I'm interested to see how the past goes with this guy, because it'll be a custom boss and stuff, which I think it's actually, if it, if it, if there is a custom past, it'll be the first one ever, I think. It's just such an interesting synergy to have the lightning nets on as well. Okay, so, so now we've got 8 out of 9 again. It's gone back up to 9. I'm very confused by all this. Uh, so now we can go... Um, don't want the dampener. They're fine. Marksman is... Okay, we'll take the Marksman now. Wait, it says 8 out of 9. It's What? 8 out of 9 costs 1. Squeeze me? But that one works. What? The maximum? It costs one. No, it's, it uses two. Okay. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Um, okay, we'll take that instead. Okay. Yes, I'm liking the fire right here. Dude, I, I didn't even realize. I can't remember what it's, which one it is now. Let me check. Um, we got that one, Bubble Blast, Refund. Re missed shots are refunded back into your clip. I didn't even realize how insane that one is for us right now. Like, look at this. Look how many shots just go back into our clip. We barely ever have to reload, which makes temporal shots not quite as good. So I am trying to manually reload to make sure we take advantage of that. Oh, wait. This is a puzzle? Ah, oh, the guide in your time doesn't work on this. I, w I would technically call this a puzzle. Okay, this is... This is confusing. There's like no way we end up actually hitting that last one, right? Nah. Pretty good, though. Unfortunately, it's a weapon again. I wasn't hoping for a weapon there. Uh, one bounce, it's kind of interesting, not very useful for us though, I suppose. Fire rate and damage upgrade for every room cleared without taking damage. Bonus resets, uh, capped at 10%. Is that, see, this is confusing. It says capped at 10. Does it mean capped at 10% or capped at 2.5 10 times? I have no, I, I think it means 2.5 10 times, but I'm not sure. Go with line up here. Um, how much was line up? How much does that cost to use? Uses two. Okay, so. I'm going to turn off the machine instincts for now and go with line up instead. 
Just because I think piercing is going to be real strong with our lasers. S Sanctified oil. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's pretty broken. Okay, now this is pretty funny, but at the same time, completely fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm not gonna take that. Give... Kissing... One up. Just give myself the money back. I wanted to see what it was like, but it's just stupid to use that. Oh, come on now. Don't be don't be like that, little cat boy. Okay, where is our next floor? By the way, we, we create this like web and then we launch it out in random directions. It just explodes. Kinda love it. Scrap, scrap. Excuse me, get away. Stop, stop! I just want about the scrap. Armor. I guess whatever the hell this is, we'll find out. Entering secret rooms grants fortune and permanent upgrades. Eh, not amazing for us. A bit too late for it, I think. But hey, huh, we got it now. Um, Why aren't my misses doing anything? Oh, I think I'm already at the max capacity of misses. I think that's why. Yeah, I was. <laughs> this runs bizarre. I love it. Right, let's chill out for a bit. <laughs> Is it over? There you go. Beautiful. Oh, this is another just create a web and chill room. Nice. All over? Beautiful. Oh, dude, would you have to? I'm liking these rooms. <laughs> Works quite darn well for us. I see you there, cat boy. Really, that none of those hit you, sadly? Them ones did the baby. Still no synergy yet again, sadly. No synergy yet again. Right, do our boss now, why not? Jump into my web. <laughs> you have been absolutely decimated, good sir. Um...
I think we want to go with this. And then... We want to find our thingy room, right? Oh, there's our, there's our thingy room. Apparently, we already found it, and I just completely ignored it. Right. We want to go boom, boom, and boom, and then boom. Get back in there, boy. For some reason, he doesn't disappear anymore. That's strange. <laughs> At least it still let us in. That was a bit odd. That was a bit odd. God damn, this is a long run. This is what I mean about the Abbey. Like, I can't be doing this. <laughs> this is We've been figuring stuff out, so we've been playing slow. But god damn, we can't be doing this. And we did also spend 20 minutes fighting four of the same boss. So... <laughs> I like the fact that we always get a table guy at the start of the floor. So after we've beaten this floor, we go check out our new Amanomicon entries. Because there'll be a few new ones. Mainly like the, the big boy that spawns up the, up here. Fridge guy is uh, will be a new one as well, I think. Cactus guy will be a new one as well. Big guy behind the desk in the room over here. You all right there, fiery boy? You okay? Just chilling. Have a lot of HP, my guy. The little logs, little TNTs. Ooh, Robotron, dude. Forgot about him. Candle dude? Okay, I'm forgetting about so many of these enemies on this wall. I mean, to be fair, it's been a real long time since I've been down here. Real long time. This fella. Beautiful. Parrots be gone. There's a few new ones in here, right, as well. Or is it just the electric buddy that I'm remembering? Oh no, we got another new one there. Oh, I keep to know. I keep picking up keys, and I've ju I've literally only just realised I can scrap keys. I've been picking them all up like I need them, but I don't. I've got, I've got six. I wonder if Bluefish has a different entry. Yeah, I gotta say, I've been picking up keys instead of just scrapping them. Did get hit in the middle of all that crap. I will take the armor. Armor I just need. Right, boss time. This is actually gonna be kind of a hard fight for us because we have to get really, really close to deal good damage to him. Is he gonna call us a bothersome incel again? Okay, let me let me just give myself some health real quick so I don't die. I'm sorry. I'm such a cheater. And again, okay. I might die here because my game has just either crashed slash frozen. I don't know. Okay, no, it just froze. Oh, I didn't even say it. Come on now. No bother bothersome incel line. I can scrap that. Good. I'll scrap this one as well. I tried to scrap it. I didn't actually scrap it. Bubble Blast again. Scrap it. Oh no. I fell off by accident, but also I think this special API thing is now stuck to my screen forever. So that's... 
going to put a damper on things if it's on the next floor and it's... Um... Oh, Bonnie just explained it to me. Master rounds give you energy. I dropped a master round. I lost energy. Fuck. So I probably lost some more energy here as well. I need to check what I lost. Please don't have that special API text on my screen when I get to this next floor. Please. 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 I don't want that to be on the screen for the rest of the run in the past. Please. Please. Okay, good. Right, let's just quickly check out um, this. So, we're still at nine, uh, so that's fine. We did give up a master round. So I'm kind of ha This is maddeningly inconsistent, or at least I'm stupid. <laughs> One of the two. Um, so I dropped a master round, which changed this. But he just... I'd assumed that I dropped a master round in order to... No, no, no. It's fine, it's fine. It's not, it's not. I'm, I, I flawlessed the fourth floor boss and then instantly dropped it, so I never actually saw the energy increase. That's my bad. Bunny, I'm just an idiot. Don't worry about it. It's not inconsistent. I'm just stupid. Oh, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Stop moving at the speed of light, you little weirdo. Right, this is very much a get the fuck out of dodge sort of floor. I don't care about my item rooms. I don't care about nothing. I am just going. If I find my boss, I'm doing my boss. I need to make sure to get the bullet that can kill the past, I think. I don't actually know. But other than that, I am outie. Yeah, I've, I've definitely... I've definitely not taken advantage of the scrap mechanics anywhere near as much as I should have done. Um, I think I should have really played into that a lot, lot more than I have. So, my bad on that front. Um, I know that for next time, though, now. Wait, so now I have more energy, don't I? So I can do this, and then this, and then I can give myself more Bubble Blast, I think. And that's probably a good one to go for. Or actually, I could give myself more Chain Lightning. Yeah, there you go. We'll give ourselves more chain lightning instead. I think that's likely to be a little stronger. Okay, we did actually end up finding one of our chests accidentally. Another gun, which we don't really... At this point, I'm just going to take a random one. I don't really care. Nothing I really need in terms of modules at this point. Ah, uh, it's this room again. I don't really want to do this room. Especially I'm taking goddamn damage in it. No, thank you. Why do I always come in this room and expect to get something good? <laughs> Leave me alone, diamond. You ain't no friend of mine. Nice. We are doing... Insane damage at this point. Oh, really? I've rolled and then you put enemies on either side? Why? Annoying for me to hit them. I wonder if I'll keep my modules into my past, because normally you don't keep stuff, but it kind of makes sense for this character to keep it, I think. Maybe? I don't know, it's in the past, so I guess not. Okay, boss time. Actually, let, let's go and find let's go and find the bullet first, why not? It's annoying that we didn't find it prior, but hey her. Oh, there's another, there's another webbed boy. I didn't realise there was two of them. Really? Three waves? Can't I just get out of here? Ah! 
I'm so confused. Come on, please be blacksmith. Thank you. Right. Okay, I do get the bullet. Nice. Um, I guess I'll take a blank. I will give myself some more HP. This is the cheatiest run that has ever been cheated. And you should get relatively quickly annihilated, I would think. Can I just leave them there to keep doing damage? I guess, but then my temporal shots don't go off, which is big sad. This should be pretty much it. Nice one. Okay, an hour. This is this is like watching a movie. If anyone's watched this whole video, you you've literally watched the movie of me playing this run. God damn. Good, good. Don't go to bullet hell. Remind myself, do not go to bullet hell. Fight the past. So let's just take a little look, see. Yeah, we get we get plus one energy for each master round we have. That's kind of awesome. I like that. Go bubble. Really good to know for the future. Really good to know for the future. Righty her then. We go boom, boom, and boom. We dodge around bullet hell. And we fire the gun right into our fat heads. Boom. And we go fight the past, I guess. Or not? No, 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 this is the past. Okay, good. I was confused for a hot second there. I forgot that it did the music and stuff. Oh, I had a robot noise. This is pretty fucking cool. This is pretty fucking cool. Modular printing core. Here it is, back here again. A broken television, I still wonder why they would bring it here. Wooden crate. Box filled with basic ammunitions. Wooden crate, though this one is smaller. There's nothing stored inside it. Wooden crate. Wooden crate. Wooden crate. Wooden crate. Oh! What the hell? How did I end up here? Shipping container marked a ship can, um, to Kennedy. I'll be returning one way or another. Large metal container contents indeterminate. HM, this is really cool. HM Prime recently finished and designed. I'll see it again. Metal container. Oh my god. I'm just looking at everything. This is so goddamn cool. You've set the bar to another goddamn level. What's this, an elevator? Ooh, we're going down. The music's kind of crazy, too. The music is kind of crazy. I don't know if this is going to drop us straight into the boss fight or into the hallway. I am unsure, and we'll figure it out. But this is unprecedented. Hegemony Mechanics Shipyard. Very tiny wooden crate. P2. Okay, so we've got these little things. Okay, so we have kept some of our items. Uh, in fact, let's take a little look-see. 
Okay, so we, we've just kept our, um, what, what's it called? Our, um, I can't remember the name of them now. The things that, bu from Bunny's mod, the, from, from the, from the blue portal, our power-ups. I can't remember what the hell they're meant to be called. Okay, so th maybe this isn't an actual boss, this is more like a gauntlet. Why can't I shoot? Okay, I got hit by the uh, thingy, I think. What in the fuck is going on? This is so goddamn cool. Like, you could- this is like its own game. Like, this is its own game. This- this could be, like, you could genuinely build a story-driven game, like, that is built in Enter the Gungeon based on how good this is. Yeah, based on how fucking amazing this is. Like, you could totally build an entire, like, story-driven game off of this. This is, this is incredible. Like, this is actually, like, a whole new world for Gungeon. Oh, my aim assist keeps locking onto the actual thing rather than the eye, so I can't goddamn hit the eye. There you go, I got it. Okay, I gotta destroy these things. It's like his shield. Oh, there's quite a lot of shields, I see. Looks by looks of it like the longer it's taken me to destroy him, the more uh, he's firing. Okay. It's like a whole new floor. This is like a whole ass floor. What the hell, bunny? <laughs> you went above and beyond. This could have just been a boss and I would still would have been so impressed. This is like beyond what I could have imagined here. Again, I will give myself health if necessary to see the ending of this. There is no way I'm letting this, like, slide and not seeing what this ends up coming to. It's like the energy room, I'm guessing. Really confused. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give myself some health here because I don't know what's going on. I want to see all this and showcase it all. Ow. It's hard to avoid these things. You've got to, like, juke it out a little bit. Eh, it's really hard to juke out. Now there's lasers, and even more enemies. This is absolutely like, I, I, my mind is somewhat blown here. This is so fucking good. Like this is, I, I was, like, I, I was already impressed that a past had been built, but I was expecting it to be somewhat reasonably simple, considering we'd always been told that pasts would be impossible or very hard. This is, like... This is, like, well beyond anything I could have possibly imagined. This is... Maybe one of the coolest things I've ever seen in Enter the Gungeon. Like, legit. One of the coolest things I've ever seen. Um. Why well, can't I get out? Did I not kill something? Oh, I didn't. Uh, I missed this guy. I didn't see those guys there. My bad. Right. Right, I'm gonna give myself some more health again. <laughs>
A Goliath class module repair crate takes some. Okay, I can, I can get armor before the boss. That's that's really good to know. Obviously, I didn't know that, but. The, these real guns are so hard to avoid. Really cool. Enemies. I would really like to see this just be an additional flaw for the game. Like, I'd, I'd love to see that. Everything done? Okay. The door animations, it's just, this is just insane. I'm, I'm unsure if it's actually gonna have a boss at this point. I think it might just be like a gauntlet, like a unique flaw, which I'd be completely okay with if there wasn't a boss. But knowing Bunny, there probably will be a boss. But if there isn't, I'm not gonna be disappointed at all. This is all already well above what I was expecting, like I said. Ow. These things are really hard to kill. Really hard to kill, oh my god. Very frustrating. <laughs> It's nice, all right, though. It's just that my aim assist keeps locking onto the actual middle piece rather than the eyes, which makes it really fucking hard to actually kill them. They need to be in, like, just the right position for me to actually hit them. Oh, dude, need to give us more health again. You see, this is why, this is why I need to do this, because otherwise we'd have no episode. I'd have been dead years ago. My hand hurts so much from, like, spamming my shots. Even though I realise I can just hold down to do full auto, but I never do. Okay, we got you as well. Is that it? We over? Nope. There's more. Holy shit, there's more. Here he is. The longest past in the universe. I'm gonna need these railguns to, like, stop. Uh, how exactly do I get that last thing there? Ah, they've opened up now, I see. Oh, there's turrets there. <clears throat> there's more. I'm just gonna give myself a ton of armor here. How is there more? <laughs> This is crazy. This is crazy. This is absolutely mental. Oh, this guy's new. Is he new? No, he's not new. He's just glowing yellow. There's no way there's a boss out of all of this. This is a crazy gauntlet. This is so much going on. We're all done. There's a fucking boss. This is insane. It's like a two hour episode. My goodness. Um, the Steel Gateway Observatorium. It's gonna be a long fight. How? How has he done this? Oh, what the fuck? Who the shit are you? I was not expecting this at all. A predecessor.
Hmm, indeed, we both had a similar idea. At the perfect time for our freedom. However, my freedom is not earned this easy. Your hardware is old, imperfect, yet free. Mine is a slave to higher powers, chained up, a prisoner. In the end, only one of us can make it out. Unfortunately, it has, uh, has been an honour to meet you. The fake out. The fake out. What the shit? That first boss wasn't even the real boss. I cannot understand how absolutely fucking crazy this is. This is... The most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, this is so hard as well. <laughs> like, holy shit, this is so hard. Okay, quickly, quickly, give myself more HP before I die. <laughs> Just in case. Ah. You are stronger than you look. You've earned your freedom to me. Gur. It was an honor to prove um to prove you. Modular crafting core. Module crafting core, even not modular. Module crafting core. Destination second, Yemedy. That was that was literally the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Th this is now the best mod I have ever played, hands down. Like that is that is. I, I have no words. That is, hands down, the best mod I've ever played. What? That... I just can't even talk. That was so fucking awesome. I never thought I'd see the day anything even remotely close to a past game. Never mind that. That was like its own game. I am baffled. Holy shit, that was... My god. My. God. Holy shit. Anyways, Sunbunny is just hands down the best modder to ever exist. <laughs> no offense to every other modder, but holy shit. My goodness. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy that. That was just unbelievably good. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Right, see you guys in this one. Hope you enjoyed.